Well, hey there, it's time for another restaurant review. Today's restaurant is a place called Jalisco. We used to call it Jalisco's, but apparently it's just Jalisco Mexican restaurant. It's uh, located in Cedarburg, Wisconsin. There's another location in West Bend, Wisconsin, which I was not aware of. There's also one in downtown Milwaukee on the uh, corner of North Avenue and uh, Farwell, I think. Um, I've been there also. I have not been to Jalisco in years, years and years, actually, but I have frequented it quite a bit in the past in my other lifetime. Um, and I always liked getting the, this great big burrito. Uh, and uh, we used to call it, uh, well, never mind what we used to call it, but it's uh, it's this big burrito, and it's really filled with stuff. So anyway, I uh, decided to go there. We uh, She wanted to go to see, uh, have some Mexican food. So I said, well, let's go to Jalisco's, which is actually Jalisco. So uh, we said, let's go. It was Saturday. Let's check it out. All right, we're at Jalisco Mexican Food in uh, Cedarburg, Wisconsin, this little strip mall, or as we've always called it for years, Jalisco's. Uh, it's in kind of downtown Cedarburgish, not a little bit away from downtown, off the main drag, so here we go. All right, here's the menu at Jalisco Authentic Mexican Restaurant. Locations in Cedarburg, West Bend. There used to be one in downtown Milwaukee, too. Maybe it's gone now. They have appetizers. Breakfast, seafood, house specialties, lots of tacos, enchiladas, they have soups, vegetarian stuff, traditional Mexican plates. This is what I'm getting a simple burrito dinner. You can get a T bone steak if you like. Kids menu, desserts, sides, and yeah, soda, beer. There you go. All right, they've given us the traditional chips and salsa. There's two types of salsas. Free riffles on a soda, all the water we can drink. Provide here the tapatio, salsa picante hot sauce. This stuff doesn't mess around. We also got the Valentina Mexican hot sauce. Also, is pretty spicy. I prefer dip a little bit of the super, super hot sauce right there. It comes out very slowly because it is very, very hot. Yeah, very hot. This is the decor of Jalisco. That's the kitchen over there where they are preparing our dishes as we speak. They used to have a band, a little mariachi band that would go around playing in the evenings. I don't know if they still do or if it's just in the evenings. And they have a second area over there. Over here they have various bills from all over the world. Bank of Mexico, Jamaica, Venezuela, and other countries I cannot recognize. Guatemala, Bolivia, Honduras, Costa Rica, Guyana, and a map of Mexico. We got a chimichanga meal here with chorizo meat, chicken meat, and shredded beef, rice, guacamole, refried beans, I'm guessing. Over here we got just a regular burrito with a chunk of cheese on top and some rice. Dig in. Interesting thing about their burritos here is that um, inside the burrito they actually do, do a couple things. There is actually, I asked for mine without lettuce, tomato, and whatever else, but there is chunks of potato in there, which actually are really good, and those are obviously carrots. And uh, there may be another thing hiding in here, I'm not sure, but it is very good. All right, 
right, we are in the bathroom at Jalisco. It's a very small one-seater, but relatively clean. No real issues here. No mirror. Interesting. That's it. So there you go. That was Jalisco a Mexican restaurant. Um, our uh, waiter, his name was Miguel. He was actually uh, quite engaging, uh, or he was he was very attentive. He was good, and uh, they did have free refills on the soda, which I liked. Uh, I always tend to get Mountain Dew at restaurants, but they didn't have Mountain Dew, so I got an orange, which I think was a Fanta orange. Um, not 100% on that, but anyway, um, I believe uh, in years past, maybe it's just in the evenings or maybe it's on the weekends, they have a little like a mariachi band that goes around. Uh, uh, the, the restaurant and stuff. So that's kind of a nice touch. I don't know if they have that anymore, but they did uh, years ago. And, um, yeah, I do like the fact that there's little potato pieces in the in the, in the burrito. I've never seen that anywhere before, but it it's good. The only thing I, I'm not a big fan of is uh, I like to have, like when I have uh, um, tacos at home or any sort of Mexican food, I like to put uh, like hot sauce on it, like Ortega hot sauce or something. They don't really have that option. They have a couple of the options there, but they're like super, super hot, and they're just not conducive, at least in my, in my opinion. So what we did, and what I have done many times actually to Jalisco, is I'll stop at Taco Bell and pick up some other fire sauce and bring that to the restaurant, which is ridiculous, I know, but hey, I'm a ridiculous kind of guy. If I wasn't ridiculous, I wouldn't be doing these reviews, which are ridiculous. So anyway, uh, I enjoyed Jalisco, and I will definitely go back and... Um, it really filled me. That is a big, big burrito. There's a lot of meat in there. And I got a big appetite, but that filled me too. I was pretty full all day, especially since she didn't eat all of her uh, chimichangas. Um, I had to eat like one of them. And then we stopped for ice cream on the way home, and I was just pretty much done for the day. And that was like a noon or one o'clock meal too. So anyway, Jalisco in uh, Cedarburg, downtown Milwaukee, and now West Bend. Check it out if you want Mexican food. It is good. Really good. I do recommend it. Bye.